China is going to become the number one economy by 2050, and the U.S. is going to fall behind Russia. Excuse me, behind India. Russia will top Europe, PwC. That's pretty interesting. The United States of America is going to drop off behind India. Ouch. You see, there was a... Um, I can't remember what it was. Uh, it was a think tank. I can't remember. Uh, the Carnegie Endowment. Carnegie Endowment think tank. Um, I was watching their little meeting. And what they were doing was they were saying that the United States of America was sort of out for a tea break under Barack Obama. Which is, we were. We weren't exerting strength at all on the global stage. It's a stage for a reason. And this is what's going to come out of it. By 2050, the U.S. is going to fall behind India. Here is the uh, chart here. Over the next three decades, the global economy will be dominated by China. And the U.S. economy will lose steam and fall behind India, says consulting firm Price Waterhouse Coopers, PwC. Russia will become the leading European economy ahead of Germany, UK, and Italy with GDP of $7 trillion, according to a PwC report. China, US, India. Wow, we dropped behind India. China, in 2016, of course, is ahead of the US. Do you, do you see now how we have a multipolar world order? We are here. This was not the case in 2008. This was not the case in the 90s. This was not the case in the 50s. We were a unipolar world. With, of course, the U.S. dominating. Now we see a system of multipolarity which increases rivalry in world politics. The reason being that many states of similar strength, these three have increasing strength because, of course, the economy is a massive part of the political agenda. Going back. Uh, these states are often uncertain of other states' intentions, which increases the probability of military action. Also, the power balance in this type of system is changing constantly as a result of changing alliances. As the power shifts, as we're, 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 as the power shifts, we're going to see alliances change. We're undergoing a, a massive foundational shift from a bipolar world where the two powers, China and the U.S., Russia is not really on there, but China and the U.S., who have dominated as a bipolar world, which kept each other kind of on a, uh, an equal playing field, let's put it that way. Now we have other powers which are rising, and we're seeing a multipolar world become, or develop. Moving into this one, if trade stops, war starts, warns Alibaba founder Jack Ma. Again, we have the same ideology. Multipolar world order. We are seeing a foundational shift right now. And of course, we're switching to a multipolar world order. There's going to be shockwaves around the world, some of which we have not even seen yet. Probably not even felt the tremors of it yet. But as this time, or as this time, as time goes on, we're going to see more of it and see the developments of what actually is going to take place. They're going to come out. Now, of course, let's scroll through this. Retreat from globalization will only result in trouble, warned China's second richest man, Jack Ma, during a visit to Australia. Everybody's concerned about trade wars. But if trade stops, he didn't say, but I did. If trade stops, war starts, he said in Melbourne, where the e-commerce giant Alibaba opened its Australia and New Zealand headquarters. But worry doesn't solve the problem. The only thing you can do is get involved and act actively prove that trade helps people to communicate, said Alibaba's CEO, as quoted by Business Insider Australia. The globalized economy is more than just transactions of money and goods, according to Ma. We have to actively prove that trade helps people co to communicate, and we should have fair trade. Transparent trade, inclusive trade, he said. Trade is about a trade of values, trade of culture, said the billionaire, stressing that he felt a personal responsibility to fly more than 100,000 kilometers in the past month to promote global commerce. You see, what else is going on here is we have globalists who are trying to protect their businesses. And these people are, of course, like Jack Ma, are billionaires. Then we have people who recognize that there's a problem. The United States of America has been getting shafted by these billionaires and by other countries. 
that sums up a lot. And of course, when the U.S. takes a protectionist stance, if that's what you want to call it, because of course that's what this article's later on is going to call it, it's a protectionist stance. Then of course we're going to see globalists, we're going to see billionaires, we're going to see a lot of this. They're going to come out of the woodwork, and of course they're going to sit there and and freak out about it. But I'll tell you what, he does have a point. If trade stops, war starts. We're seeing a massive buildup between China and the U.S. Going back to an article we did earlier, China, the U.S. There are two competitors here. If we move over into the phases of the uh, multipolar world order here, this is the two who have largely dominated the bipolar world. Now that this is done, we're going to see other countries rise. If trade stops with one country, another country can pick it up. That, of course, is going to shift alliances. And again, going back to Albert Pike's letter, they're going to change the eco economical structure of the world. And we're going to see that, too. We're seeing the changing, the shifting hands now. Now, of course, we reported yesterday that Japan is going to bypass the dollar. If other countries follow that trend, as we just saw Iran is also going to do in spring, if more and more countries follow that trend, there's going to be trouble for the U.S., which, of course, would help other countries dominate the U.S., and the U.S. would fall, well, down the chain. If you want the latest news, in-depth reports, independent in-depth reports, investigative reports, go to ChristianTruther.com. If you want to support what we do while getting something back, go to ChristianTruther.com slash info for more information on how you can help us help you. That's all I've got for you. God bless and carry on. Thank <laughs> you.